Hey, FPCG family. As many of you know, we're in the process right now of considering a name change for our church. Now, while this is something that we have talked about off and on for a number of years in different leadership circles, with the launch of our third campus coming in the fall of 2017, we really believe this is the ideal time to engage in this process. Now, many of you have already shared your suggestions with us on our website. Thank you for that. Your insights and your ideas are very important to this process, and we are going to continue to solicit your feedback throughout the end of 2016. Now, I'm sure that some of you may be wondering, if our church is healthy and growing, then why even consider a change like this? It's a very good question. First, let me address some of the reasons we're not considering this name change. Number one, we're not doing this because it's trendy. It is true that many churches in our denomination, dozens in fact, have already changed their name and removed Baptists, but that's not our primary reason. Second, it's not because we're ashamed of being Baptist. We're quite proud of our heritage. Third, it's not because we're compromising in any way on our theological or doctrinal convictions. The truth is that we have known for a while that our name poses a barrier to many people in our culture. So we're not considering this change for the people who are already here, but for those who are not here yet, for those we want to reach. Simply put, we think the time is right to change our church name in order to be more effective in our mission to reach people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's right, Jeff. And I would say that we're wrestling with this question because we have such a rich heritage of faith at FBCG. The Swedish immigrants who founded this church in 1894 had an unshakable commitment to God's word and to the gospel. In fact, that's a big part of why they came to this country in the first place. So we remain grateful for and committed to our Baptist heritage. So why talk about changing the name? Most people don't know it, but this isn't the first time this issue has come up. Our church name has already been changed once, long before Jeff and I were here. We started out as the first Swedish Baptist Church of Geneva. And that made sense at the time because all the people who started this church were Swedish and worship services were conducted in Swedish for several decades. But over time, more and more non-Swedish speaking people came to live in Geneva. So finally, in 1951, the word Swedish was removed from our name because it was seen as a barrier to the gospel mission of the church. People who weren't Swedish or didn't speak Swedish didn't feel welcome. And by the way, that's the same reason our entire denomination changed its name several years ago from the Baptist General Conference to Converge Worldwide because they believed the word Baptist had become a barrier to their mission. While the word Baptist means certain things to me, good things, it's come to mean quite many other things in our wider culture. First of all, there are more than 200 different Baptist denominations in America, many of them very different in belief and culture from us. All it takes is a simple Google search to see why the word Baptist causes many in our culture to be confused or even fearful of the word. I've had dozens, even hundreds of conversations over the years in which I've actually seen this reaction. Someone uh, finds out I'm a pastor and they say, of which church? And when I say a First Baptist Church of Geneva, I can see the reaction in their faces. Questions, confusion, fear. Sometimes they'll even take a step back from me. And then I quickly try to explain that we're not what they probably think we are. And so I've thought for a long time that even though I love being Baptist, if the word has become a barrier to the people we're trying to reach, and if it takes a whole paragraph to try to explain, then why not just remove the barrier? Thanks, Brian. I couldn't agree more with all of that. Let me take just a minute now to answer a few more questions that might still be lingering for some of you. First, will we still be Baptist? Absolutely. We have no desire to leave our denomination, converge, and in fact, we will most likely keep our legally registered status as First Baptist Church of Geneva. Second, will this name change somehow alter our core commitments? Absolutely not. We will not compromise our commitment to the Word of God as our ultimate authority, and we will continue to passionately pursue seeing lives transformed to impact the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Third, what will the new name be and how will it be chosen? Well, as we said at the beginning, we're in the process right now and we don't yet know what the name will be, but we do know that whatever we decide for a church name, it should as much as possible align with our vision and mission as a church, and it should not present any unnecessary barrier to the gospel. Finally, what can you do? Well, as many of you are already doing, share your thoughts, share your questions, share your affirmations and your concerns, share your church name ideas with us. And finally, pray. Pray for God's continued direction in this process. Brian and I and our whole church staff regularly sense that God is telling us he's on the move in our church family. 
We believe he's preparing us for a season of great gospel impact as a church. So thank you for being a part of this church family.